Good afternoon guys, welcome to Uunuku Journeys with DJ Wiz NZ. I'm here on Heartland Farm where I live and I'm going to talk to one of the kaitiaki from the farm, David Phillips. He's going to give us the lowdown on one of the organic gardens we've got here and some of the edible weeds in the garden, like this. Here on Heartland Farm with uh, Kaitiaki Rauri Piripi. Kia ora, Wari. Um, these plants here are um, Jerusalem artichoke, so they'll come up with a beautiful sunflower type um, presentation. And down below, they've got a very, very edible root. Um, in my view, when it's baked, it takes, when it's dry baked, it tastes something like scallops. They're also um, high in inulin, so they're a very, very good food for anyone that's a diabetic. See lots of weeds here because we also eat the weeds. Yep. <laughs> I'm a, I make a weed salad, weed soup, um, weed sandwiches. So we have many, many trees here, fruit trees, nut trees, berries. We have lots of um, trees. We've planted about 7,000 trees in the time we've been here. And it's now like a Garden of Eden. But come and have a look at the other little garden right over here. Um, this one over here is the kumra. It's um, sweet potato. It's uh, that's a beautiful. And you've got a bit of rocket over there, I see. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a rocket. You can see that coming up underneath the pumpkin leaf type thing. Pumpkin. Um, these are a a lettuce, but a particularly interesting lettuce. You'll see they're a little bit a little bit dehydrated at the moment because I've been weeding around them, which affects them. This one here is a blackberry that um, will grow up beside the. Fence, it's beside the fence because the fence retains its heat and the blackberries become bigger. Um, this is another one of many tomatoes we've got in here. Funnily enough, this weed here, which we're pulling some of it out, but this weed here, which you'll see is rampant around the garden, it's all over there as well. Um, it's actually a, a plant called amaranth, and amaranth, many people know they make their breakfast from it, but with this plant you can, you can say thank you and in between the tomato we've got little carrots coming up and here we've got the beetroot right next um, lots of lots of carrots coming up there. there you go look at all those carrots guys and that's coming up between the tomatoes these tomatoes are just start, they're very very young they've only been in a little while and they're starting to really come away so with the tomatoes i've got to i've got to keep um latching them back to the back to the pipes as you see i've done down here and we keep taking out some of the runners in between um, because otherwise tomatoes will sprawl across the land and they'll still grow but not with as many tomatoes great so very very nice more there. rocket over there this is this is absolutely gorgeous rocket um again it's just a little bit if you just okay, eat yep. some of that it's um, a gorgeous gorgeous part beautiful this is russian kale in here russian kale I just transferred some of that from another garden. Now if you try some of this, tell me what that is if you can, Marie, because I've just momentarily forgotten the name of it, but, oh, coriander. Coriander, yeah, it's uh, just starting to come see, through. See how it smells? Mmm, coriander, coriander does. And this one's gone, gone to seed, and there's some down here that haven't. More rocket. More carrots here. More rocket, the rocket comes up very quickly. Good to have rocket in sandwiches and things. Here we've got spring onions, and beside that some some um, silver beet. Here's beetroot. Look at that beetroot. More beetroot. There. That's only that's only probably four weeks old. We got chives in here. Chives. And um, this one was set back a bit because it had all these all these beautiful, big, healthy amaranth around it. But just take a look at this this little plant here, right? It's only this high, and it will grow a lot bigger. But look at that fruit. Looks like a big chili. It is. Look at that, guys. I'm going to take it off. A big chili. Looks because like it's ready. We can eat that. Look at that. Look at that chili, guys. And that's on a plant that's My only goodness, that's huge. 18 inches high. Very well grown, but this is um, a little courgette. Courgettes. And this is go. what they grow to. And you'll see what. Look at that, guys. That's big a, courgette. That's a big courgette but it's now more of a marrow type thing and you can eat it you can leave it there for a while and you can eat it later over here we've got a few more carrots 
in here we've got some flowers coming up, marigolds and whatever. You'll see some you see some um, strawberries coming up here. Strawberries. And over here there's a little bit of rosemary. Rosemary. This is a lovely watermelon coming up in the corner. Um, that's lemon the balm. lemon balm. That's so beautiful, good for you for so many things. Mm. Lemon balm's a great thing, antivirus food. Mm. It, it's very good against um, herpes. It's very good in tea. It's one of the, and again, good. one of the super good. herbs. Super herbs. Over here, we've got a little bit of borage. I don't like taking too many of the flowers off because this is a little one I've transplanted, and each of the flowers will become a seed. Over there we had Jerusalem artichoke and this is globe artichoke. So this one here, this one here, um, will come up about about so big, big plant, and then it will produce these beautiful globe artichokes. One year we grew 15 different sorts of potatoes here, mostly Maori potato. Another year we grew about 10 different sorts of watermelon or rock melon. So I planted some piru piru, they're one of my most favourite of all potatoes. They are purple and light cream colour. This is a different sort of um, Mary potato. It might be a wat, 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 wataru. Um, they're purple inside and out. So I bought while I was up north this last trip about six different of the Mary potato. And, and interesting enough, the story from the Maori potato experts is that they can only really be planted effectively four days after a full moon or four days after the new moon. Right and then they will respond so today is the fourth day after the full moon and i put some in and i'll put more in um, on the four days after the new moon and they need about three weeks after they've come out of the ground for drying before you put them back in again we've got to protect our right to be able to plant seeds from our own vegetables and our own fruits and this is what big brother monsanto and some of those companies are proposing is that they be the only ones with the rights to seeds and so they introduced a thing called a terminator terminator um, gene which goes into some seeds and unfortunately it jump fences um, and goes into organic gardens and the terminator seed stops other stops the plant from having fertility in its seeds it's a beginning of the end of the human race if we allow these to rule us and and because we've got the numbers on our side of human beings, we really have to become consumers that are careful. And we say no to that crap. And we say yes to something that's organic, natural, healthy, free of poisons. Um, and then it helps us, it helps our family, and it more particularly helps the future of both the earth and the human race. But um, yeah, shortly we'll go and see the bees, Rory. And these are another amazing, amazing creature. <laughs> awesome, David. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, too. There you go guys, hope you guys enjoyed that little insight into our organic garden here on Hutland Farm. It was definitely awesome to show you some of the edible weeds I eat and the vegetables and uh, good having Rawari Piripi David showing us around as well. Awesome, if you guys want to come for a visit to Hutland Farm, drop me a message or a comment below and we can tee it up if you're a vlogger even better you can bring your camera and vlog up our farm the garden fruit trees and everything else here the horses so yeah awesome check out our next video on heartland farm it's going to be about our bees and our hives here so check that out guys hope you guys enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up down below and subscribe to this youtube channel we'll see you guys on the next video Experience the journey, inspire others, live life guys.